and welcome to Fan Mail with Peter once again. Um, we have quite a uh, video today, just because I've kind of gotten behind on my fan mail. So uh, let's get caught up. The first one is from Corey. He wants to thank me for the videos and says that they're very inspiring. And uh, here's a doodle he did. That's good. Keep it up, Corey. This one's from Ale. She says she loves my work. And Ale, I'm sorry if you're a guy, because Ale is a weird name. Malia, she drew a picture of some roses. Here it is. She says she took the picture with her camcorder. But I might actually put Earth Dollars on the hunch I have that uh, she really took this picture with a toaster or some other small appliance. John, he has a special request. John wants me to say Dookie. There you go. Dookie. Here's another John, spelled differently. He drew some pictures from a new favorite band he found called Goldfish. Here they are. I can confirm that Goldfish is a really cool band. Thanks, John. Tarion says he loves my art, and uh, here's some pictures he drew. You look good, man. Keep it up. Don't stop drawing. Kayla wants to know what editing program I use to uh, speed up my videos. I use Adobe Premiere Pro. Um, it works pretty good for me. Some other, the other leading one seems to be things like uh, Vegas, Sony Vegas. Uh, but they do cost, they do cost some money. Now this guy's name is Ramen Thief. Good thing I already ate all my ramen, or I'd be concerned. He wants me to do a tour of my apartment. Um, well, a tour of my apartment wouldn't take very long, mostly because uh, it's the size of a large cardboard box that you might get your refrigerator in. So uh, he also wants me to do a Draw My Life, and I've seen a few comments about that on my videos. Um, I'm just, I mean, it sounds cool, but I'm just not entirely sure how I would go about it. Also not entirely sure what it is exactly, even though I even, I googled it once. I'm still a little, you know, we'll see what happens. Jake wants me to do his name in Elian script. Mm -hmm. I, have a, I have a post-it note here. Uh, there we are. There it is, Jake. Raven, oh, says her name is pronounced <clears throat> Ravine. She wanna, she, uh, she says she loves my gunstock pyrographies, but wonders why I always do the little uh, flowery scroll work, um, even when it just gets a little bit repetitive. You know, I'm not sure. Um, I agree it does get a little repetitive, but it's just kind of like an easy thing to do. I guess that's not a good excuse. But um, it does look pretty cool, but I agree. On the next one, I'll definitely be doing something a little different. Try to mix it up a little bit. Now, this one's a special one. It's from uh, Cam, aka Monty Braxton, which is a it's a pretty sweet aka, if you if you ask me. Uh, anyways, he had a bunch of really nice things to say in his uh, fan mail, and I won't go on, go into them all here. But he wants to know if I ever do realism, or do I just stick to the doodles? Uh, well, realism is definitely an area where I could probably grow as an artist. Um, sometimes I start practicing, you know, I get really, get really uh, fired up about it and start practicing, you know, and but then I just kind of get distracted by doodling because it's just it's so much fun. Also, he mentioned that in my last fan mail video, I talked about how I used to struggle with depression, um, but now I've I've come through it. Um, he just wanted me to make a shout out, and I think it's a good idea to uh, all the people, all the people out there who are at a low spot in their lives right now. Um, you know, those people that are, to those people that are struggling, just to keep going day by day. Uh, it's a, it's a very personal thing, and it's hard to explain to other people how you feel. But um, you know, a lot of time it'll seem like no one understands. 
but I just wanted to, you know, try to encourage all of you to keep going. There are, you know, there's always going to be ups and downs in life, even if you feel like, you know, there are more downs than ups at this point. I just want to encourage you to keep going, and uh, it's always worth it to keep living. You know, I would say consider finding a, finding some way to vent. Not that you're angry, but still it's probably healthy to find some way to vent, like, uh, you know, through art. That's kind of what I did for a long time. Or through, uh, you know, doing some sort of sports or exercise. A lot of people just go running and just run and run and run until it's all gone. And, um, you know, but never be afraid to go see a doctor either. That's not a shameful thing. Um, it doesn't, it doesn't hurt, you know, I'm not a doctor, I don't know what you're going through, there are a lot of different things that can cause depression and sadness and rough times in life, but, um, I'm not going to pretend to understand them all, but just know that, uh, it's worth it to keep going. Anyways, just keep, just keep trucking, guys and girls, and, uh, here are a few things that Monty drew, I think they're really good, I'm actually impressed. Well done, sir. Thanks for writing in. This one's from this one's from Lexi. She wants to know how do I start my doodles. Like, what pops into my head and stuff. Uh, well, sometimes I really have just like all these abstract shapes and images flashing through my mind like really fast. And or when I start drawing, there's just like a there's already something there that I've been daydreaming about. Or sometimes I just start without anything in my head, but regardless, it always turns out to be something I've never seen before. Like, even if I did have an idea in my head, it never turns out that way anyways. But, um, it's, I don't know. And she wants to know, uh, if I, if I don't like the, how the drawing is looking, do I keep going? Or do I scrap it and start a new one? It, it really depends on my mood, I think. Um, if I'm just in a really good mood feeling great, then I probably keep going and try to save it. Sometimes it doesn't work. A lot of times it does, and sometimes I'll just ball it up and throw it away. But uh, she also wants to know how to stay confident about her work. Um, well, you know, it's kind of weird for me. I'm not sure entirely because I, you know, post all my work on, like, YouTube and Instagram and Facebook, and I get all these people telling me how great it is. So that helps me um, stay confident about, confident about my work. Um, I don't know, if you think you're, if you're proud of what you've done, show it to your friends. A lot of people are really impressed with this sort of thing. Just, uh, yeah, don't be afraid to show people. They'll, unless they're jerks, they'll probably have something nice to say about it, and you want to keep drawing. Hmm. Nothing like a mug of Coke. Alicia, she thinks my drawings are relaxing. Uh, like a stroll through the park, she says. And... She says I helped her get out of a drawing funk. No problem. Glad I could help Alicia. Here's some drawings she did. Now, this one's from Honor. She wanted to thank me for the inspiration, and she thinks I should get into leatherworking. Um, I've considered it, Honor, but it, you know, there's just so many different artistic mediums, and there's only, there's only 24 measly hours in each day. It's unfortunate. Also, she attached a picture to show, but it doesn't seem to come, have come through right in the email, and I apologize about that, Honor. Um, but, cool name, by the way. I like that. This is from Saul. He says he's 13 years old, and that he, um, he says that his dad died two months ago, and he's been struggling with depression. And he says that drawing, that watching my videos have um, helped him get back into drawing, and that um, through his drawing, he's been coping with the, uh, with the situation. It's all, uh, my deepest condolences to you. Surely you've gone through something much, much more terrible and something worse than I've ever experienced. Um, but, you know, I'm glad you're making it through like a champ. Carry on, bud. You can make it through. Thanks for writing in. This one's from Jenna. She thought at first that I was 70 years old when she heard my voice. I'm not quite that old. She's 14. She says that when her friend showed me a couple of, showed her a couple of my videos, she went home and watched every single one of them. 
That's great. Thanks, Jenna. Quinn is 12 years old and says he has also watched every single one of my videos. That's crazy stuff. He says he's, I've inspired him to get into art. That's awesome to hear. I like hearing that. Ashley just graduated from high school and says she's going to a military institute for two years. That is terrifying. Good luck. Nick thinks I'm the best person on YouTube. Thanks, Nick. Russell thinks my doodles are terrific and inspirational. Here's a picture he drew. And he's sorry, he's sorry his camera is so poopy. Honestly, this picture looks really cool, man. Keep it up. Draw more of these. This one's from Gustavs. He wants to know how I started drawing. Uh, it's kind of a hard question. I don't know, I just did when I was young. I probably, probably my pictures look really terrible though, just like any other little kid. It's not like I just automatically started drawing like I do now. Um, he also wants to know if I've ever been to art school. I have not, Gustavs. I've never even taken an art class. I would love to go to art school though, I just don't really know how to, how to afford it. Maybe one day when I'm supporting myself. If I get make enough money from my art already, like from my YouTube channel and stuff, then maybe I can just go to art school. Then I w I'm sure I would love it. Um, I've just looked at a lot of looked at a lot of art and I've skimmed through a few art books. Uh, he also wants tips on how to doodle. That's really difficult. Um, I mean, here's a drawing that Gustav's made, and I'd say you're doing really well, my friend. Just keep drawing, practice, and hard work accomplishes much. Allison says she loves my work and wants to be on my mailing list. Unfortunately, I don't have a mailing list, Allison, and I'm not sure what I would do with it if I did. Just subscribe to me on YouTube, which I'm sure you already are. Finally, Lucas says I've been a huge inspiration, and here's a picture he drew. Looks sweet, dude. I love all the red in there. Kind of like this red. Anyways, thanks for writing in, everyone. Uh, if you um, if you want to be in the fan mail videos, just write in. Send me an email at peterdraws1 at gmail.com. And make sure you have either fan mail or fan mail in the title, in the uh, subject. Um, try not, you know, some people have been sending in pictures, and that's fine. Try not to send in more than, like, two or three. I'm not going to be able to, you know, show you, like, a whole album here. Anyways, thanks for writing in. And uh, you're all the best. Bye.